24. The Scorpion Sting On Shivaratri night, the Raju family went to see Pandari group perform. When they returned, Raju asked his sister Venkamma, Please do not lock the door at night. I will be going out. Venkamma would take Darshan of the Tulisi plant outside the house first thing in the morning. In the wee hours, she woke up and without opening her eyes, reached for the door. Just then, a cold hand touched her hand. She opened her eyes in surprise and saw Raju. He had returned. Raju. She served him food immediately. Raju told her, I had gone to the Shiva temple to perform the Linga Abhishekam. He left to take bath after partaking food. Suddenly, Venkama heard Raju's scream. She ran to him and asked him what it was. Apparently, it was a scorpion sting. Venkama searched the entire house but did not find the scorpion. Despite feeling unwell, Raju went and bought all the grocery for the house himself. When he was given food to eat, he did not touch it. When Venkama shook him as he sat silently, he fell with a thud. Seshama Raju called the doctor who threw cold water on Satya and even gave him an injection when he did not get his consciousness back. When he became conscious, he did something which no one understood. The coconut has broken into three. A few people had gone to the temple to pray for Satya. When they returned and heard what he had said, they said in surprise, the coconut indeed broke in three. Satya oscillated between consciousness and unconsciousness. He began to recite poems of high literacy value after one of the unconsciousness phases. Some were his own compositions and some were from very famous authors he had never read. Seshama Raju was in awe. Concerned people discussed whether the parents should be called and decided. Call the parents. Scorpion stings have always proven fatal. Since the parents didn't reach as expected, as they couldn't arrange money for the bus fare, Seshama Raju called some boys and said, You should go and bring the parents here immediately. When Satya heard that the boys were leaving, he stopped them and said, There is no need to go. They have already left. Go to the bus stand. Seshama Raju reached the bus stand. To his surprise, the parents got off from the bus, Satya said they had boarded. <laughs>